Amadil Kumar and here is an excellent question on lines and planes. The question is point 104 is reflected in the plane with the equation x minus y plus z minus 1 equals to 0. Determine the coordinates of the image points. So the situation is kind of like this. Let us say this is the plane for us, right? And there is a point outside the plane which is reflected and then that's the image, right? So let's imagine this to be P and P dash as the image of this point. We are given the equation of the plane and the location of the point. So we know that the point for us is, is 104 and the plane is x minus y plus z minus 1 equals to 0. We need to find coordinates of the reflection of this point that is what we need to find right. it is important to note that these two points will be same distance away from the plane and so it's good to find the midpoint first and we know this midpoint will be on a line joining P and P dash which is going to be perpendicular to the plane now if this line is perpendicular to the plane then direction of this line is same as that of the normal of the plane and since the equation is x minus y plus z minus 1 equals to 0 we know that the normal for the plane is equal to 1 minus 1 1 right now this normal is same as the direction vector for the line right so that is direction vector is same as 1 minus 1 1 Knowing point and direction vector, we can always find equation of line, right? So, we can say equation of our line L should be uh, the point given to us 104 plus parameter T with the direction which is 1 minus 1, 1. So, any point on this line could be written as x equals to 1 plus T, y equals to 0 plus or I should say minus t, right, minus 1, and z equals to 4 plus t. So that is any point on the line which has points p and p dash on it. Now let us first find m, a point which is common to plane and the line. So that should be found by placing this value x, y, z, on the plane equation right which is x minus y plus z minus 1 equals to 0 so let's substitute these right so so we'll now write the values of general point in the given equation and solve for parameter t right that is how we do so x is 1 plus t so let me write 1 plus t minus y is 0 minus t or minus t let me write minus t here plus z z is 4 plus t, 4 plus t, minus 1 equals to 0. That's a linear equation. Let's open the brackets. t minus minus is plus t, plus 4 plus t, minus 1 equals to 0. And now we can uh, 1, 2, 3 t. So we have 3 t. As far as numbers are concerned, 1 plus 4 is 5, minus 1 is 4. So we get plus 4 equals to 0. And from here, we know t is equals to minus 4 divided by 3. Once we know the value of t, we can find coordinates of this point, right? So now we will substitute t equals to minus 4 over 3 and calculate these points. So for t equals to minus 4 over 3, these points will be what? So we'll just substitute 4 over 3 minus 4 and then calculate. So x will be 1 minus 4 over 3. y will be minus of minus 4 over 3 and z is going to be 4 minus 4 over 3 right so let's use calculator to calculate these values right so we have 1 minus 4 divided by 3 equals to minus 1 over 3 so we get minus 1 over 3 and then we have this makes it plus so we have plus 4 over 3 and we have 4 minus 4 divided by 3 equals to 8 over 3. So that is 8 over 3, right? So that is common denominator. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8, right? 
So we get the coordinate points for M. So these are the points for M. So what we found here is that M is minus 1 over 3, 4 over 3, and 8 over 3. So these are the coordinate points for M. Now the question is, from these points, how are you going to find the point P dash, which is the mirror image? See, the question is, determine the coordinates of the image point. Now imagine that point P is A, B, C, right? So we need to find these points, A, B, C. We know P and we know M. How are we going to find it? Well, it can be found easily by using midpoint, right? We know average of these two points is the midpoint. So, as far as the P coordinates are concerned, let me write down again. Coordinates of point P given to us are 104. Coordinates of midpoint are given to us as we just calculated minus 1 over 3, 4 over 3, and 8 over 3, right? So, P dash, which is the end point, let those coordinates for the time being be A, B, C. So, let's find A, B, C now. So what we know here is 1 plus A divided by 2 should be minus 1 over 3, right? Since that is the midpoint. Now, this is the midpoint, right? This is the midpoint. So, midpoint means average value, right? Average of these two, right? So, that means 1 plus A divided by 2 should be equals to minus 1 over 3, right? Similarly, 0 plus B divided by 2, the average of these two should be 4 over 3, right? And 4 plus C, the average of 4 and C should be 8 over 3, right? Should be equals to 8 over 3. So, using these equations, we can find the coordinate points of the image, right? So, let's cross multiply and find A. So, minus 2 and here 3 times. So, we get 3 plus 3A equals to minus 2. 3A equals to minus 2 minus 3, which is minus 5. So, A is equals to minus 5 over 3, right? Similarly, from here we can find what B is. We get B equals to, if you cross multiply, 8 over 3, right? So, B is 8 over 3. And let me draw a line here just to differentiate them. Okay, let's multiply this also. This should be 2, divided by 2. So it is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3C equals to 2 times 8, 16. Or we say 3C is equals to 16 minus 12, which is 4. And C is 4 over 3. So that is how we get the points, which are the image points, right? And now we can write down our answer. And the answer is that the image point P prime or P dash is minus 5 over 3, 8 over 3, and 4 over 3, right? So that is how we can actually solve such questions. I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best.